Welcome to Stars in the Garden, part eight. Um, we're going to go through our pages today and get all of that information out to you. Which would explain why. Getting close to the end. We only got one more month of pieced blocks after this. And then we will be putting it all together. So number one block, let me get my blocks out. These were really pretty blocks this month, I have to say. So the first block is this one. Okay. Uh -huh. That's our first Thank one. You. Oh, you're welcome. The background fabric is red five, and the leaf fabric is green one. The only um, change that I made into the is to the um, the reds that we used is number one. I changed to fourteen thirty. So the first thing that stitches out on this one is these. And I changed this to this little brighter corally peaky color so it would stand out a little bit better. Other than that, everything else is the same. But he'd come and hang by your desk thinking he's fixing your machine and then you weren't able to make extra The next block is... Out of my way. From uh, Garden I mean, Walk as well. That first one was from Garden Walk, and so was this one. This well, one is one of my favorites, I think. I really love the stitching on that. Um, the background fabric is pink two, and the flower is red five. So you will find in your kit this month that you have two fat quarters of that fabric. Um so that you'll have enough to do the flowers on this. Otherwise, you wouldn't have had enough. So I put that in there. Um, lots of changes on this one for thread colors. One, two, and three have changed to two, 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 four. Number four stayed the same. Number five, I changed to 1430. And number six, I changed to 546. I also thought that 465 would have been a pretty choice there too. So you can audition those. And flip the page over and you'll see the houses. Now, I did not assign any fabrics to this. Okay. Um, because I used all different colors on my fabrics. So in the, um, the directions, they just they did two with a turquoise background and two with a brown background. So totally up to do what you do. Um, and so I changed all the colors of the threads as I thought they went with what I was doing. Um, I used scrap fabric for my houses and all these little pieces. because I just thought that would just use up my scraps, right? Um, and I chose colors not to match the fabric, but to highlight the fabric. Totally up to you what you do, but I didn't want it to blend in. I wanted that stitching to kind of pop. So you can see where I just go crazy. Do do you on this one, okay? So then we get to our pieced blocks, which are super simple this time. Um so the first one is this one is just like a easy peasy um, 
nine patch. And this one I used red five, brown two, and gold one. Hey, Connie. Um, I chose to do this a little differently. I um, put this brown in instead of having two reds. Okay. Just so it have some contrast. The next block is um, also from Garden Walk. It's block number eight. This one I changed and put black in the corners. Um, the directions called for pink two, gold two, and brown two. I just kind of changed it up. I used what I had. I'm running low on some fabric, so I just changed this up. And the last one, also from Garden Walk, is block nine. I think I messed that up. This one is block, block eight. Sorry, this one is block eight. So the last one is the one I changed. So let me reiterate. So this one was block eight. The dark brown went around here, and that is a brown two. Gold I put in the corners. And pink I put in the other corners. So I changed the brown print to a pink or something like that. So mine was pink two, gold two, brown two on the second block. So the last block is this one. This one I did red two, a black, and then a red one. The pattern called for a brown. So you could use brown two if you had enough to put there. But if you want to add some black, this is the oppor an opportunity to do so. Okay. I'm going to stop the recording and then you'll be able to answer any questions. Okay.